Queen Elizabeth II's final moments revealed in heartbreaking note as no pain. The late Queen's final moments were recorded by her most senior member of staff. The late Queen Elizabeth II's final moments have been revealed in a heartbreaking note. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Shared by the Daily Mail, the late Queen's final moments show that Her Majesty peacefully slipped away on September 8, 2022. Sir Edward Young, who was her devoted private secretary at Balmoral on the day of the late monarch's death, noted, very peacefully. In her sleep. Slipped away. Old age. He also noted that she wouldn't have been aware of anything, and that she was in no pain at the time of her passing. The documents, which are now logged in the Royal Archives, have not been made public until now, 16 months on from her death. The new revelation forms part of an insider account of the late monarch's devotion to duty, even in her final hours, contained in a new biography by the Mail's royal writer Robert Hardman. The book, which is titled Charles III, New King, New Court. The inside story, is being exclusively serialized over the course of four days from tomorrow. Inside the new book, it is revealed that shortly after Sir Edward wrote his note, a footman bought a locked red box of paperwork found next to the late Queen's deathbed. The contents of the two letters in the box, which were addressed to the now King Charles and Sir Edward, will likely never be released to the public. Despite this, the book claims that the existence of the letters likely shows that the late monarch, who was 96 at the time of their death, knew that her time on earth was coming to an end. Speaking of her unwavering dedication to duty, Mr. Hardman wrote, even on her deathbed, there was work to do. And she had done it. The late Queen undertook her final engagement just two days before her death. On September 6, 2022, the late Queen met with the then Prime Minister Liz Truss at Balmoral. In a speech on her 21st birthday in 1947, Elizabeth II voiced her dedication to duty as Queen, which would occur until the day she died. She said, I declare before you all that my whole life whether it be long or short shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. Just five years after her speech, Elizabeth would become Queen. She held the role for 70 years, until her death in 2022, and was the country's longest reigning monarch in history.